It's my pleasure now to introduce uh, Haru Inui. He's uh, an Asian master from Japan. He's the uh, first clinical applicator of POEM in the world. Did the, the first uh, POEM procedure in uh, August of 2008. Uh, he's a very innovative endoscopist. He's also credited with invention of ESD. Uh, probably more than 10 years ago now, uh, and he has invented his own knives for ESD, including the TT knife is, that is used for POEM, and now has the second volume of POEM in the world, bypassed, unfortunately, by a later comer, Dr. Zhou from Shanghai, but has done probably six, 700 poems. He's uh, a great uh, innovator and a, and a very nice uh, guy traveling the world. Last year, he traveled 138 days. Actually, run into him accidentally, if you can believe the odds, in some airport in Switzerland where I was vacationing in January. Yeah, I, was, I was there with my wife and my baby looking for the gate, and then Haru zooms right in front of me. What are the odds of that? <laughs> right? We took a picture to memorialize the event. Anyway, here he is now. It's great to have you again this year. Thank you. Sir, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much, Stavros, sir. Again, uh, thank you for your invitation. And then this is the actual photo. <laughs> so very, very few possibility, I think. So we came across each other. <laughs> so uh, uh, three things are crazier. Uh, Hera myotomy was uh, reported in uh, 100 years ago. And then, so uh, Jay Pashrija, uh, he reported the uh, possibility of endoscopic myotomy in the POSIM model. And of course, uh, Chris Gustout, so he reported the uh, submucosal endoscopy. And then, so we applied uh, those uh, uh, basic concepts to our uh, clinical cases. So, uh, submucosal injection and then create a submucosal tunnel. And then after creating the working space, we try to cut the circular, inner circular muscle. And then most important part of the procedure is uh, dissect whole the lower esophageal sphincter out. That is the most important. And then after confirming the uh, hemostasis, we close the mucosal entry using CRIPS. So like this, injection. So generally, we perform the injection in the anterior wall of the esophagus. And then once we get in a submucosal space, uh, uh, in order to preserve the mucosal layer intact, so uh, we are sticking to the surface of the muscle layer. And then, so we uh, 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 dissect the submucosal fibers down close to the LES, and then when we approach very closely to LES, so esophageal lumen becomes a smaller. So, like this, in some cases, we can uh, clearly observe the uh, uh, palisade vessel at the lower esophageal sphincter from the uh, submucosal space. And then, so once we get into stomach gastric cardia, so submucosal space promptly changed to wide so we can confirm it. We are in the stomach. And then, uh, so, uh, more vascularity we have in the gastric cardia, we call spindle vein. So this is a very char characteristic to the gastric cardia. And then after creating submucosal walking space, uh, we cut the uh, circular muscle, inner, inner circular muscle. Cut some fibers and then cut. And then behind the uh, cut end, we can observe the longitudinal muscle layers. Even a carasia patient, so longitudinal muscle layer is not thick, very thin. And then uh, when we, are, uh, when we <coughs> get into the uh, stomach, so like this, so some, uh, we often observe the uh, uh, vessels in the rest of momentum. So this is a before procedure, so normally tight junction, and then after that, so very relaxed, LES. And then after that, we close the mucosal entry using CRIPS. 
So longitudinal incision is uh, better to close. So from this star coming back to pro proximal. Even the, even even when we uh, try to please up the longitudinal muscle layer, that is a very fragile, and then split each other, and then finally uh, now we can see a uh, pericardium very well in a submucosal endoscopy, but nothing bad happened after this. So because we preserve the mucosal layer as a perfect barrier between the GI lumen and the mediastinum. Sometimes we can see here anterior various nerve. So this is here a uh, volume swallow of the classical acarasia, so before and after. And then, so this is a vigorous, so-called vigorous acarasia, abnormal contraction. And then after that, after POM, so no abnormal contraction. So uh, we keep the patient in a uh, intubated and the general anesthesia. And then the CO2 insufflation from the endoscope is the most important. And then, so uh, original original procedure is to try to cut the lesser curve of the stomach because we would like to preserve this uh, string muscle. String muscle is a very important component of the his angle of the stomach. So like this. So this is a string muscle that is anatomically a create one of the important factor to create the his angle. So in order to preserve that, we try to cut the pure lesser curve generally. And then now the indication is all acarasia cases. And then uh, including some other esophageal motility disorders, uh, diffuse spasm, nuts cracker, and the hypertensive areas, and so on. So this is a data at the time of 500 cases. So youngest, uh, youngest is a three year old. So this is the most dilated esophagus. So used to, used to be uh, this kind of patient receives the esophagectomy uh, for uh, uh, control the disease. But now we can perform, even for this case, a POM procedure. This is a before and the after volume swallow. And then finally like that. So left hand side is a before procedure and uh, light, uh, right hand side is the after procedure. And then the Eckhart score, this is a symptomatic score dramatically improved in this case. So even though this kind of uh, a very advanced acarasia case, so at least short time prognosis uh, was good. So previous treatment is not so important. So we, we can do any case, generally. And then success rate is around 95% uh, or like that. So criteria of the success is improvement of a cut score, uh, more than three point, and then and finally, a cut score is a one or two. So long-term results of the POM procedure, this is a summary of 36 cases uh, who can follow more than three years. And then, uh, so echo score is improved like this. So not bad. So fortunately, now we, we performed the 560 cases in our hospital that we have no major complication, fortunately. And some minor complications, 3% or like that, but most of them easily control, all of them easily control by the uh, elongation, extension of the fasting period, few days. That's enough to control all the uh, minor complications. Listing pressure improvement and symptom score is also like that. So I'd like to demonstrate a case of a type two acarasia. Now you can see a, a stack of the uh, contrast media and also with uh, pressurization. And then after pump procedure, so volume moves very smoothly. 
And then this is the uh, case uh, with a spasm. So in those cases, so volume after procedure, so volume relatively flow slower, uh, slow, uh, uh, smoothly. So post-operative guard in our series is a 5%, 5% who receives the uh, PPI. Symptomatic patient is 15% uh, totally, totally 15%, not so many. So we are thinking like that this is a paper of the surgical paper uh, under the prospective randomized con control trial. So this is a laparoscopic helado procedure. When we dissect group one is a when we dissect completely higher tau. So at the time, 23% becomes a guard. Even when we put the dull anti-reflex procedure. And the group two or group three, when we put a very limited dissection of the uh, uh, esophageal hiatus. So <clears throat> with or without uh, anti-reflex procedure, a uh, guard ratio becomes below 10%. So what I want to say is that in a POM procedure, we never dissect phrenoesophageal ligament. We only approach from inside uh, esophagus. We never touch the uh, surrounding structure of the LES. So guard rate, that is a reason why guard rate is not so much in the POM procedure. This is the youngest case. And this is a case of a big arthritic erasure. So those cases, uh, uh, you can see a lots of abnormal contractions of the esophageal body. So for this case, uh, when we perform the HERA doll, so this is LES. LES will be open, but the uh, proximal abnormal contraction uh, are not uh, well controlled. So in this case, we put a 23 centimeter myotomy. So long myotomy is not so difficult in the POM procedure. So because so we approach from inside, so we can put a 23 or 24, 25 centimeter myotomy is possible. So in this case, light after procedure, you can see a clip closure and then no more abnormal contraction of the esophageal body and LES is totally dilated. So it's good. We can, we can apply this procedure even for sigmoid acarasia, like this before and after procedure, before and after. So passage through the LES becomes dramatically improved. So this is the same case. So in the case of a patient who receives a previous surgery, this is a last topic. So we perform the myotomy in a posterior wall. So at the time, so mucosa of lip appeared in a phonic side like this. Then this is the uh, his angle of the muscle. In a submucosal space, you can see his muscle. And then we dissect it. So this is a right after myotomy. We, we have already dissected the uh, circular muscle, very thick circular muscle. And then also longitudinal muscle has been dissected. And then behind behind incision, so this is, uh, this is a diaphragma, diaphragm. And then this is a mucosal, gastric, gastric phonics. Then, so like this, before procedure is a very tight junction, but after procedure is very relaxed. So volume swallow was very nice and the cut score improved dramatically in this case also. So, <laughs> Very shortly, this is a very good sample of a diffuse esophageal spasm. So normally, normally looks normal. And then at the time of a spastic uh, episode, so patient esophagus like this, 
So in this case, uh, junction itself very dilated, very dilated. Then like this, LES itself previously dilated. Then uh, we put the longer mile to me like this, and then improved very well. So I would like skip some slide. Oh, this is the uh, photo of the last year. And then I will skip bleeding. Bleeding may happen in the stomach, but so when we carefully dissect using a spray coagulation mode, so uh, it's not, not, so, not so risky. Okay, thank you very much for your kind attention. This is our team. If there are any questions, please approach the microphones in the center aisles. They are live. Thank you. There is a question. Dr. Inoue, uh, when you said you do posterior myotomy in failed surgical cases, what will be the position of the patient and how do we approach? Ah, so uh, we keep the patient in a prone position. Uh, uh, no, not a prone, I'm sorry, a supine position. So we approach the seven o'clock direction. Thank you.